Um, let's go over here to the streets of Brooklyn in this one, man. We have the Nets here, guys. Uh, what are they laying? Where are they getting getting one and a half points here? I know at one point they were laying a point. Now some money has come in on the Hawks there, Alex. The no defense playing Hawks. Hawks are laying minus one and a half here on the road as the road favorites, or you can get back plus one and a half with the Brooklyn Nets as the home underdog. If you would like to go the money line route here, Nets are getting back plus one hundred five here as the home underdog, or you can lay minus one twenty five with the Atlanta Hawks here on the road. Over and under sitting at two forty and a half in this one. This Hawks team is very unreal. Reliable. I had them in the last game. Um, they did pull it out versus the Cavs, but there is no way that, that game should have been that close. They led by 14 in the fourth quarter and ended up having to win on a, on some late free throws. The Cavs actually came back and took the lead. I did not trust this Hawks team, man. Great offense, but as great as the offense is, this defense is, is certified cheeks here. Alex, what do you like in this game, my brother? Not a damn thing. Josh has a play on this one. I'll share it with you in a second. These are two teams I have really struggled with. Everything in my numbers likes this Hawk team to somehow come under the 250-point totals they have every game, and they go over them one after another. It's up and down. It's back and forth. This team is a mess. And Brooklyn is just one of the most bizarre finishes to the season here. Seems like they were coalescing around kind of this new unit, and then all of a sudden benching guys. It seems like they're almost trying to tank for some reason, but mm -hmm. can't seem to get out of the play and hunt are still the six seed somehow the bottom of the east is really bizarre but josh's angle here he's just going to do what i never seem to be smart enough to do and take the over uh, i mean this <laughs> hawks team you mentioned you teed it up perfectly it is an over machine there is no defense being played by anybody they're just trying to get up and down the floor i mean i somehow hope we get like a hawk sacramento kings finals every total will be like 280 or something it'll be nuts so josh likes the over here but this is a game where at this point i'm happy to skip on these two teams until the postseason. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. I had to skip this game. I would lean towards the Hawks to be able to get it done full game, but like I say, they're just not a reliable team. They could be up by 10 points in the fourth quarter, and you're still going to be sweating your bet going on. Like, they're unreliable, Alex. Great offense, but with them playing no defense, that's why they're letting all the teams come back in the fourth quarter because the other teams will lock up, right? They, they, in the last four minutes in a close game, that's when the defense is supposed to be at the highest. The Hawks haven't got that memo, man. That's, that's when they choose to play no defense at all, especially when they have a lead they feel like the game is already over probably one of the most unreliable teams in the nba in my opinion um but like i mean you could just rock with josh in this one grab with the over two teams that can score at above average pace um the nets don't really have a defender other than uh Claxton to defend the rim so uh capella kungu they john collins there should be plenty of lobs for those guys as well so i would lean towards the hawks in full game just really hard for me to trust them but our guy josh is rocking with the over 240 and a half in this one uh no official play for myself or alex in this this one, guys.